Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today we are going to discuss about combined gas law as well as characteristic gas equation. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. Importance of combined gas law then statement of combined gas law next derivation of combined gas law next characteristic gas constant and at last universal gas constant. So let's see first of all the importance of the combined gas law. In actual practice three variables means pressure, volume and temperature change simultaneously because of we have assumed that in Charles law the pressure is constant and in Boyle's law the temperature is constant. But in actual practice these three variables change simultaneously. Therefore Boyle's law and Charles law are combined to get relationship between pressure, volume and temperature. So the equation derived is known as combined gas law. So from that you can realize the importance of the combined gas law. Now look at the statement of the combined gas law. The ratio between the product of pressure volume and temperature of a system remains constant. So mathematically you can say PV by T is equal to constant. Now next derivation of combined gas law. Let a given mass expands from state 1 to state 2 according to Boyle's law. So first consider the Boyle's law and draw the PV diagram. And let's consider that this is a state 1 and corresponding pressure is P1 and corresponding volume is V1. And say for example this is the state 2 and so that this is the process 1, 2. As you know that according to Boyle's law this is a constant temperature process. And so that also you can say PV is equal to constant. Now let's say it is the pressure P2 and here it is the volume V2. Now further it expands from state 2 to state 3 according to Charles law. And let's say it is the state 3. And you know that according to Charles law, the pressure remains constant and so that it should be the horizontal line. So you can say P2 is equal to P3 and corresponding volume is V3. And here you know that it is the constant pressure process. So you can say it is V by T is equal to constant. So as we have discussed this diagram, now apply Boyle's law to the process 1-2. So if you apply the Boyle's law to the process 1, 2, then you can say very simple P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Now rearrange. So you can say V2 is equal to P1, V1 by P2. Let's say it is equation number 1. Now next, apply Charles law for the process 2, 3. And so that you can say V2 by T2 is equal to V3 by T3. Now look at this term T2 and I can say T2 is equal to T1 because of this is the constant temperature process. So I can say V2 by T1 is equal to V3 by T3 as it is. Let's say it is equation number 2. Now next put the value of V2 from the equation number 1 into equation number 2. So you can say V2 is equal to P1 V1 upon P2 divided by T1 as it is is equal to V3 by T3 as it is. Now rearrange this term. So I can say P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P2 V3 upon T3. Now very simple from this equation you can understand it should be P3. Then you can say P1 V1 upon T1 is equal to P3 V3 upon T3. So you can understand from this diagram that it is the constant pressure process and so that you can say P2 is equal to P3. So that I can put P3 instead of P2. So now P1 V1 upon T1 as it is is equal to P3 V3 upon T3. 
and so that I can say in general PV upon T is equal to constant and that is R. This is the characteristic gas constant. Let us say it is equation number 3. Here we have assumed the unit mass for this process. But if there is a m kg of mass, then you can say it is PV is equal to MRT. Let us say it is equation number 4. Here equation number 3 is known as the combined gas law and equation number 4 is known as the characteristic gas equation. Here R is called as the characteristic gas constant and its value is different for the different gas. Its value for air is 0.287 kJ per kg Kelvin. The product of molecular mass of the gas and its specific gas constant is same for all gases. And this constant is known as universal gas constant. So mathematically you can say universal gas constant Ru is equal to Mr where M is the molecular mass of the gas and R is the characteristic gas constant. And this universal gas constant is always equal for all gases. Whereas this R is the characteristic gas constant is different for different gas. And universal gas constant is 8.314 kJ per kg mol Kelvin. Put your valuable feedback in the comment box for motivating me to make more videos. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video.